make our way home. We got about 430 kilometers to go and then we'll be home. So that's fantastic news. And then we will do a reset at home. I have booked my truck in tomorrow for uh, getting the grease job done. And the mirror here on my driver's side is uh, not really defrosting very well anymore. So I'm going to get it replaced. And then I have two ABS sensors that keep acting up here on me. There's one on the right hand and one on the left hand side, you know. That, uh, at least that's what the code is showing me, you know. And so I'm going to see if they can fix that. Hoping that they can fix that. I already told them last time to fix it. Every time it seems to be a problem. So hopefully this time they'll be able to fix it. And if that's the case, then uh, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy, happy camper. I'm gonna tell them to check all my brakes and all that. Go over the truck really good. Because I will be going into British Columbia. So I do need my brakes to be in good condition. And uh, everything else too, right? Because that's some big mounts up there. If you haven't watched me going through British Columbia, you ought to stay tuned for those videos if you're new to my channel. Those are some big rocky mounts, I guarantee you that. Those are the biggest I've ever seen. But anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's go. Let's get home. Here we go. On one, two, three. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. I'm not a super jet. <laughs> But anyways, let's see what we'll be able to show you today. It's a cold one out here today. Uh, like I said, when I looked, I was a bit surprised that it got to that extent cold temperature. But uh, hey, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you shock yourself, you know. You, uh, you're you up here in the Northern Territories and uh, you wake up in the morning and it could be freezing cold. It could be very cold. Could be mild as hell the, the day before, right? I mean, that's what it was yesterday. It was like a, above zero, right? Above freezing point. And this night it was like minus 23, and with the wind chill minus 30, you know? Like just like that, you know, overnight. But, anyways, let's make our way home, sweet home. Alrighty, everybody, we've been cruising for a good while yeah that's right and now we are in the Kenora area Kenora Ontario that is and as I told you this morning we could expect to have some nice dry nice roads morning. today yep that's right sometimes when I go between mountains like that the GPS I don't know for some odd reason it uh, I guess it doesn't connect a hundred percent with the G uh, with the GPS up in the air and then it thinks that I'm going faster than I'm actually at you know and then it says speed warning although I am on cruise cruising along right here I mean I'm cruising at 96 97 up here and he's screaming at me speed warning so I don't know <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, nice dry roads. Beautiful day out here today to be driving. Yesterday was a little crappy, but today is great. Absolutely beautiful for winter condition driving today. I am very happy that I am able to go home. Spend the time at home with the family here tonight and tomorrow, all day tomorrow. Because there's no rush on this load so we can do a reset at home, which we will do too. So I'm very happy about that. And it looks like right now that I will be able to be home early enough to uh, where I can go play some volleyball today. And tomorrow night is a men's volleyball as well. So I can uh, get some exercise in. Since I've been talking this week about losing weight, 
I'm trying to work really hard at uh, actually doing that. So uh, we're going to try and get some exercise in there this weekend. Well, I mean, the weekend is almost over, but uh, today is Sunday. February 21st, the month is almost over again. Man, the time flies. But anyways, tomorrow is Monday. And Monday they always have man's volleyball. So today is family volleyball. So everybody can bring their wife, kids, everybody. You know, everybody can come and the kids can play in the one corner there, you know. And uh, on the other side of the place there we can play volleyball. So we can see the kids at the other end, but at the same time have a little fun playing volleyball, you know. But then on Monday, it's just men's only. Only adult men's are allowed to come. And then we play uh, some heavy duty uh, volleyball. Yep. But anyways, we are just cruising along here. Just figured I would tell you a little bit about that, what we're doing. and. All those goodies look how they cut this rock away here just so that we don't have to go over the rock that must have taken them a long time to do it that's a lot of work doing that cutting through a rock like that you know but anyways we uh, we are like I said in the Kenora area right now but I think we got about two hours to get home so it's almost 10 o'clock now. So I think about 12 o'clock or just after 12 o'clock, I think we should be home about that time, you know. At least at the yard, drop in our trailer and then we'll bobtail home. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go play some volleyball. And then after that, I'm gonna go home. And then I'm gonna pick up the truck. And I think me and my son are probably gonna go wash the truck. Because we've been driving a, in a lot of salt here yesterday, like with all that uh, snow showers and ice and all that we had on the road. They've been putting a lot of salt down on the road. So my truck is really salty again. So I'm going to wash the salt off a little bit so that way it's a little easier for them to uh, work on the truck again tomorrow. So it's a little cleaner and all that, you know. I bet the mechanic would like that a bit better too, to work on my truck, you know, and the, when the truck is a bit cleaner, you know, I'm pretty sure they would appreciate that too. But I not only do that for them, I also do that for myself because uh, if I leave the salt on there, it's just, you know, the truck is gonna rust so much easier, you know, when all that salt is on there. So I wanna wash that off as good as I possibly can. And then we're going to get a little bit of work done on the truck and then uh, Tuesday we'll be leaving for British Columbia. Yeah. That's going to be a nice, very nice trip. That's right. I can't wait to show it to you guys. It's going to be exciting again. It's going to be something different that I don't go into all the time, you know. But anyways, let's put the hammer down and let's go home. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially made it home. We just finished dropping our trailer here at the yard. And now we can, uh, we can go home. That's right. Just didn't want to cut off that four-wheeler. That's never a good idea. I'm going to be calling Penners and say, oh, this you know, truck driver here, you cut me off, you know. I don't need that, so. Anyways, let's go home and enjoy family time. Alrighty, guys. We are here at the Shell Truck Wash, and we're going to go uh, wash our truck. Ah, huh, our lucky day today. Nobody is in the wash bay. Well, we're just going to give you a quick uh, show on what it looks like. Yeah, look at the back here. Look at that exhaust pipe up there. That looks terrible in there, but anyways, we're gonna go inside here before it gets too cold in the bay here, so we'll be right back, you guys. Alrighty, guys, we are back home, and we washed the truck off now. Yeah, I didn't really clean it super, super good, but uh, maybe you can see it now. All the salt that was on here on this muffler is all gone now. 
There's a lot of sand in the frame there as well. So we finished cleaning that all up. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go put our tire chains in here because we're going to British Columbia. And so we need to have our tire chains with us in order to be legal in BC. I am probably dirty right now, as you can probably see, but that's okay. It's a man's job, right? Trucking is not always a clean truck or a clean job, right? But what I also what also I did do is I cleaned all the wires up there really good, so that way it's easier for my mechanic tomorrow when I have the truck in the shop there to find a problem there with my ABS light there. So anyways, we'll go get the chains and then we'll be back. Alrighty guys, this is where we got our tire chains in and these buckets. Let me show you the tire chains that I got in here. Yeah, we're gonna go put them here by the uh, passenger seat. That's my plan anyways. I'll put them right in here. That's where I had them last time. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, that's where we got our tire chains in here now. So uh, we are pretty much good to go now. And I'm taking out this uh, Wi-Fi system from Sprint because I'm gonna be bringing it back to, uh, well, I'm gonna be sending it back to Sprint. That's the plan anyways, but uh, gonna lock my door here there we go so we are all set to go all right yeah so uh, tomorrow morning we'll bring the truck into the shop and get that stuff taken care of and then uh, yeah then we're gonna mail this sucker back because uh, the plans change as you guys know so anyways we'll be right back already ladies and gentlemen we got us a box here and we uh, are going to do an unboxing of this thing here. Yeah, I think, I believe that this is the uh, V mic that I ordered, the D1. So it looks like a nice packaging. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's see if that cut it. Yeah, that did it. I'm excited to check this mic out to see what the performance is going to be. I know from other people uh, I've been hearing it's supposed to be really good. Look at that. Looks like a very nice packaging. This is the uh, frame that I ordered with it. So that way I could uh, put the GoPro right there. And that's actually a tripod mount right there. Yeah, that's really nice. Very nice setup. You can put your mic right up here. It's going to be a very nice setup. It's got a nice little handle on here. So, let's check out the actual mic. Oh, there's actually a tripod mount right there too. Wow, that's nice. That's awesome. They even provided in a tripod mount. That's fantastic. It's even got screw on the screws in here so I can even screw it into things if I need to. And it looks like it's got like a foam type of thing on here. I don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah it's got a foam on there so that's gonna reduce the uh, vibration probably too so the mic uh, I mean the uh, GoPro is not going to be vibrating oh that's metal too eh wow that's nice that's a very nice uh, setup I think so let's get to the oh wow there's actually two wow there's two uh, two mounts actually that's fantastic Wow, I didn't think they would have two of them on there. Wow, that's all awesome. So there is the mic. Yeah, let's show you guys. Yeah, that's the V mic D1. That's right. Oh, we got more screws in there. And then we just, I guess, got probably our order info. And that's pretty much what that is. Yep. So let's put this box aside and let's open this this thing here. This is what we're most interested about anyways, right? I think so. There we go. This is what I've been waiting for. 
for a little bit now. I'm very curious on how this is going to uh, perform. Let's see here. Oh, they got an actual security sticker on there too, eh? I guess they, so that they can see if anybody opened it. Yeah, ap Aperture Mic. Yeah, that's very nice. Just looking at some of the stuff that they got on there. I guess I might have to take this one off there too. There we go. Let's slide this out. And there we go. Actually, very nice packaging it looks like. Just some usual info on it. That's right. And this is the, uh, what they call a dead cat. Yeah. That's right. Let's get that out of the bag. Let's see. Look at that. That's what they call a dead cat. <laughs> Foamy thing, eh? Yeah. Wow, this is very nice packaging. Look at that, guys. I know it's a little dark in here, but wow, that is amazing. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful packaging. I can't say more than that about it. Nice heavy duty too. Wow, that's just awesome. So let's put this rascal together and then we'll show you after I put it all together. Alrighty, I think I put it all together without the uh, dead cat on it. And let's take a look. It's very nice. It's got a, uh, what they call, I think they call it a uh, shock resistance system in there. So you can see the mic is actually a little bit loose in there and that's on a purpose for purpose and that's where I got this uh, GoPro mount right there and it's actually got a hole right in there in the center where you can actually mount it right onto a tripod like that like I got my tripod set up over there so we are we're gonna put the mic to a test so let's test it already ladies and gentlemen we are testing this mic out right now and we're just gonna do a bit of a test. I don't know if you can hear the background noise there, but we're gonna unplug it right now and see what the difference is. There we go, we just unplugged the mic. So let's do a test and see what this sounds like. I'm hoping it's gonna sound really good. Already, there you guys have it. I think uh, it sounds a lot clearer. I think you can hear myself more. I was listening to it and uh, on the computer and when I use the actual GoPro mic, you can actually hear more of a, a background noise or something like that. So it seems to be cutting out a lot of the uh, background noise uh, uh, if you uh, have used this mic, you know? So I know I've heard from other people that it is very directional and that's good too, you know? I got it set up on my uh, tripod right now and it seems to work really good and I'm just gonna do a bit more testing with it. Uh, it's not really windy out there today, but one of these days it's gonna be windy and I'm gonna be testing out this dead cat. That is for sure. I'm very interested in knowing how this is going to sound all together, you know? But anyways, the wife is cooking some awesome chicken noodle soup and I saw she made a pie. Yeah, so we're gonna show you a little bit later. But first we gotta test those test this mic right first time I did a test I forgot to turn it on <laughs> it's actually got a turn on button in the back there and actually let me try something else it's supposed to have another option where it's supposed to if you drive in a car it's supposed to uh, cancel the rattling noise and stuff so let me turn that on and see what that sounds like all right let's do a test and see what that exactly sounds like but i think this mic is gonna work really nice for me i really think so anyways so uh we'll be back in a little bit we'll just uh, run this clip here and see what it sounds like <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come 